Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Hasfa and you are watching Preston Every Design. Today's video is jam-packed with upcycled wooden home decor, some trash to treasures and much more. As always, don't forget the projects, paint and products seen in the video are available for purchase at PrestonEveryDesign.com. Enjoy the video friends. Project number one, we have cabinet doors. You guys know by now I love cabinet doors. I never pass them up because they make great signage. So for the first one, we're just doing a quick sign. I'm painting this with the color Old School from DIY Paint. And then I'm going to use a stencil from Amazon that I have linked for you guys in case you do want to try it out. Now this stencil says, for I will walk by faith even when I do not see. And this is actually so timely right now in my life so here it is all finished and it's available on my website for $12.95 Project number two is this little wooden box that I built out of the, those uh, pieces of wood that go under a bed, one of those Ikea beds. And so I am going to go ahead and just give it a color of paint. I'm using the color Gypsy Green from DIY. I actually have two crates and so both of them are going to get the same treatment. And we're going to do a floral arrangement for these. Uh, this is part of my fall collection. Now, if you guys remember from last week's video, I shared that I'm working on saving money to get a storage shed in my backyard, and that's still the case. Uh, I'm currently overrun by things in my garage. It is overflowing, you guys, and it's just become really not functional at all. So I would appreciate any kind of support that you're able to offer me. Um, that could be through purchasing some paint or any of the projects that you see. All of the uh, profits that I make right now, I'm putting towards my uh, storage shed in the backyard so after i paint this up and distress it i'm going to use this tinsel that says fall sweet fall and then we are going to fill both of these crates with some beautiful fall florals Project number three, we have this little piece of wood. You guys, there's something about little pieces of wood like this that just make me so happy because I can just paint it and put a sign over it really quickly. I call these shelf sitters. I don't know, what do you guys call those? I love making these. They always sell really well, especially at markets. So after painting it in the color Gypsy Green, it's getting a top coat uh, from DIY Big Top. And the reason I'm sealing it is because I'm going to put a transfer on it and I find that transfers out here so much better, much easier when I seal them first, when I seal my surfaces first. So now this is my leftover transfer from that brocant pack from IOD. Uh, and you guys, if you're looking for any IOD products, my friend Rachel from Stella Rose Boutique, oh my God, she is amazing. She has a great uh, amount of inventory and that's where I get my IOD products from. And I have linked her store below if you want to get some of these. So after I applying my transfer, I am using this stencil and it says chosen from first Peter. And I think this was so simple yet so beautiful. have these little plates if you guys remember back in March when the pandemic first hit and all the stores were going to shut down I went on a thrifting rampage where I thrifted every day for like 30 days until the shutdown my goodwill and I had never gotten to this since 2020 oh my goodness but here we are they're getting painted and so I'm just gonna give this uh, the color here is crinoline and the second one is getting the color gypsy green 
and then we're just going to center over these uh, I remember when I first started creating I used to do a lot of these decorative plates and they used to sell well so I am bringing them back you guys we are using that same stencil from uh, that first sign in the beginning and it says for I will walk by faith even when I cannot see and then for the second plate I use a different stencil but I've linked to this entire stencil pack in the description these are also available on my site for $9.95 a piece Right now moving on to this next project. I'm channeling my inner Brianna Hayes y'all And so I have these uh, spindles left over from another project where I made candle stands I've always been a little, you know, a bit unsure of what to do with the ends of my spindles But I got this great idea and I'm going to uh, like I said channel my inner Brianna Hayes and turn these into little risers with baskets on top of them but not just any basket we have some little wire baskets you guys i have like a hundred of these little baskets that i'm going to be using i'm actually thinking i should list some on my website so if you guys are interested yeah actually i'll do that check out my website i'm gonna put some up there because i have like i said over a hundred of them but anyway so i painted all of these in the color gypsy green from diy paint by the way i've linked to the color as well and I'm um, now distressing them and once I distress them, I'm going to go ahead and attach the basket tops. And these turn out really cute, you guys. I cannot wait for you to see them. So here are those little baskets that I was talking about. Man, so many possibilities you could do with these. So I'm using some washers and some screws and I'm just screwing those in and that's really all that it took for these. Now once I get those on there, I'm going to go ahead and get my clear wax out and I'm going to seal them. And what that clear wax does to this gypsy green, oh my goodness, it just really deepens it and makes it so rich. And so once I seal these with wax, I am done with them and they turn out great. And I have this on the website as well for $12.95 a piece, I think. Actually, it might be $9.95. But either way, it's a great deal. <laughs> Next we have this little basket. I'm just gonna do a quick dry brush. Now I didn't put too much effort into this because the goal of this video was to kind of clear out some of my stuff, which is what I'll be doing for the next few videos. I need to really just clear out and get rid of my hoard and thin it out. So for this basket, I'm just dry brushing. I'm using the same color, Gypsy Green, and my Klingon brush, by the way, the brush is a Klingon from Stella Rose Boutique as well. Um, once that's finished, I just filled it with some florals and that was all that I did to this little basket and this is on my website for $14.95 and I think it turned out super cute. One thing I for sure have plenty of are candle stands. I don't know what it is. I'm addicted to those things. I pick them up every time I see them. For this round, I picked three of them and I sprayed them with Rust-Oleum gold paint. And now I'm going over them using that same gypsy green. And then I'm going to wet distress. And you guys, here they are all painted out. But let me tell you, 
This is such a beautiful combination, putting green and uh, putting gold underneath and then painting the green on top and pulling out some of that gold really adds dimension and texture and made these so beautiful. I cannot wait for you to see them. Once I'm done with distressing these, we are going to just clear wax them and that will be all. And I do have these up on my website starting at $12.95 each. They are sold individually. But look at those details, you guys. I love how these turned out. So for this project, I'm taking the hooks off. Uh, this has been in my shop. It didn't sell and it's no longer fresh flower market season, if you ask me. But I wanted to reuse this because I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm just painting it over. And once I get it painted, I'm going to put a stencil on it that says Faith Over Fear. And then I'm going to use my leftover transfers from the Brocant pack. I am totally out of transfers, you guys. But worry not because my friend Rachel is shipping me like eight or ten packs of transfers that I ordered uh, earlier in the week so I will be doing many more transfer projects in the future but so here I am just putting that stencil on there it says faith over fear and then we'll put those transfers on there and this will be finished and this is also available on my website I think it's $14.95 I'm sorry you guys it's super early right now I should know these things before I start talking but story of my life well, friends, uh, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know, as always, which one is your favorite project. Last week, no one had, uh, everyone had trouble picking a project, which is good. I'm so glad to hear that you guys liked all the projects, and hopefully you will like them today. So here is uh, one of those bonus projects that says, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. And it's a cabinet door. I used up all of my leftover transfers. This week, it was all about cleaning out those transfer scraps. And then after that one, we have another cabinet door that says home that I use a stencil from Amazon. And then I covered it in roses as well. And here it is. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you have not. Take care, friends. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.